Welcome to the Dave Show. I'm Dave. Today I'm here to talk about this electric lunch box. It's basically a portable food heater, which would be pretty cool. Now the company did send me this product for a review, but all the opinions here are mine and they have no say in what I say uh, about the product. So I'm going to take a look at what's inside the box, what you get, and then how it works. And I'm going to heat up my lunch. So let's see what's inside the box. Okay, I just pulled this out inside the box. You do get some instructions here, uh, which is pretty cool. And here is what the box looks like. Um, let's open this up. I, I just got this in. I have not even opened this up yet. Um, you get, um, oh, here we go. Some utensils. Actually, you get a fork and a spoon up in this little compartment here. So that's cool. Uh, unsnap it like that. And then uh, it does have a handle to pull this out and that little vent uh, connector thing here, a little vent, whatnot. And inside this here is a uh, bag. It's, it's basically an insulated bag that you get. So let's take a look, closer look at this. So here's the bag itself. And uh, you can see it's a foil line insulated bag with a zipper on it. So you can actually put this whole unit in here to keep things warm. Once you have it all warmed up, you can keep it warm. So that's pretty cool. And we have a cable for your uh, cigarette lighter. So you can use this in a vehicle. And then there's also a 110 outlet plug. So you can plug this into your office or, or, or any place inside the house. Um, there, a uh, little food holder, a little separated compartment there. And then this is the, the main, the main unit here. And we do have to take this off because this is a food tray. So you can put food right into this. You know, if you have a, a big thing of mac and cheese or something, a stew or anything that you want to keep uh, warmed up, uh, you can do that into here. Do not put it right into here. This is, comes out for easy cleaning and so forth. That's the heating stuff inside there. And we have, this is where you plug in your power cords. And that is, oh, and then here's the, the little indicators here for your power. Oh, yeah, and inside the box, I almost forgot, there's actually other instructions for your electronic lunchbox. Okay, one of the things about this is it's not designed to actually cook food. It's designed to keep things warm. So if you already have warmed food, this will do that. Or if you need to warm something up, it's not really for cooking. Okay, now I'm going to heat up my lunch. Now I do have a couple pieces of pizza wrapped up in foil, just like if you'd take to your lunch in your office or wherever you're at. Um, again, this has got a car adapter. So if you eat lunch in your car, not a problem. I'm going to go ahead and set it inside the uh, the main bin here. Uh, you don't put ever put food into the the bottom there. Put it, always put it into a bin. Uh, we're obviously not going to need this. Again, this is going to be for like vegetables and that kind of stuff. So I'll put that to the side. And um, on here on the lid, now they say to um, push the, the steamer button. And this is actually kind of cool here is if you press it down, it kind of pops open the outside to uh, relieve the steam on it. And then you can just do that to close it back up. But I'm going to go ahead and open it there. And I'm going to put it in, snap the lids together on those sides. I don't really need these. I don't know if this is going to get hot in here. Uh, these are metal, metal silverware. I'm going to put those to the side. And I'm going to plug it here into the office. I'm going to use the uh, 110 outlet plug because I obviously do not have a uh, power cord like that. Okay, it plugs right into the side here. Uh, it only goes in one direction. So you wanna make sure you're getting it. There's there's three pins and it only goes in the two for this one and the others are for that. And um, the power indicator light is is on. I don't know if you can see that. Um, it's really hard to tell. I can't look at it straight on. If you're kinda of at an angle um, like this, you can see it, uh, that the power is on. There's no on off button. You plug it in or you unplug it. So you wanna make sure you unplug it when you're done cooking. So now they do say that if you're warming food up, it could take um, about 35 minutes or so to warm up. So I'm gonna have lunch a little bit later. We're gonna pop that in there. We're gonna test it out and see what happens. So we're gonna come back uh, in a little while and see if my pizza gets warm. Okay, it's been exactly 35 minutes and um, this is uh, definitely warm. Um, it's It's borderline hot. So you do want to be careful with this. Uh, again, that little uh, thermal bag that comes with it, it's great to keep it warm once you have it warmed up. Um, 
plugged into the wall. Everything is good. So let's take a look and see what we got in here. Um, these are not too bad, warm wise, hot wise. Um, take that out. No real steam because I don't have a lot of, I'm not like cooking rice in here or whatever, you know. Um, but there's the foil in here. It is, it is warm. It's hot, actually. Um, I did turn it over uh, once, kind of halfway through, because I have two pieces of pizza, one on top of each other, to make it fit in here. And um, but I'm gonna take it out and put it on the plate. And this is, it's definitely warm. You do not want to touch that because it, it, it's hot. I'm going to unplug it because again, it doesn't look like there's a on-off button to this. It's either plugged in or you're not plugged in. So uh, make sure you unplug it and move that to the side so I don't burn myself here. Now let's take a look at the pizza. And I got, oh, melty cheese. And, oh. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's warm. It's warm and it's gooey all the way through the bottom. And I had taken this out of the fridge so it was cold. Now it's definitely warmed up, it's definitely hot. Um, but again, be careful with taking it out. Um, but as you can see, it um, it makes the cheesy melty. So if you were looking for a good portable, warmer cooker kind of thing for either uh, traveling for your car, uh, you're doing a, uh, um, uh, a potluck, say, at your office, and you cook something that you can make into a uh, somewhat small amount. It's not too big or anything, not like a gigantic crock pot kind of thing. But if you want, just need to keep something warm, um, this thing here is actually uh, really good and it works well. You definitely want to pick this one up.